Hello, welcome back to the BK100% RRB tutorial. In this video, we're going to go over the intermediate route for Gobi's Valley. So here, jump a bit down of straight left, then take a path slightly to the right here, right over this dot. You just want to go slightly to the right so this ripper doesn't hit you while you're walking. Uh, walk down this hill, don't jump, and jump over this guy if you need to. Do a big jump from, these, from the bottom of these stairs and go in. Uh, get these eggs in the background if you need them. But if not, then just jump over the coffin. Big jump, then go get the token while he's waking up. Hold down and walk down before you roll. Walk off the pad before you roll, so you don't de-transform. So roll, jump, beak bust, walk off, beak bust again. Reset when you see Banjo. Uh, I'm on the practice ROM, so it's a bit different. Normally you'll just see the intro cutscene and whatever and select your file now we're just gonna head towards gobies uh in this route i'm just basically gonna show the foundation sort of for the intermediate route there's a little more complicated stress you can do for this intermediate route in intermediate route but um i'll leave it for another video so recoil into the middle of the nose here just so you get the jiggy jig in the cutscene I'll leave it for another video. It just has to do with the cactus ring and trying to manipulate the RNG a bit. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below if you are curious about that. But this route without the cactus ring strats are still fast. It's still really fast. Okay, so right here, uh, we're going to do a bit different movement than we did before when we were here. We're going to hold Z now, flutter, talent shot, big jump, and go in here. Normally the door is there, so it would take you out of Talent Drop, but since it's not there now, uh, you can just get in Talent Drop right away. Here we're going to damage boost into Gobi's Valley. And, excuse me for a second. And we enter. So this rod is going to get the sh get the notes in the sand around Jinxie with the speed shoes. I have a video that goes pretty in depth on how to do it. That'll link in the description, but I'll try and simplify it here. So go over here, hold R as you go up here. Two camera turns, slide for this first note, walk for the second, jump, jump, and big jump onto the wall here, and jump onto this note, tap A for the next note, then just jump, jump again. Now we're just gonna run, jump, and go up here, up here, jump into the wall, into the wall again, and we're gonna take off over here. Now we're just going to go to towards the cactus after this ring. Don't worry about not getting the species in the sand perfectly right away. Once you fully learn it, I feel like it's riding a bike, you'll just uh, get the hang of it and barely ever fail it. So here you want to shoot two eggs from the cactus. So here. And now the optimal movement after this is to do this. Get in talent shot as you walk off before the cutscene plays. Then you can just jump into the loading zone. Just like that. Here you want to be fast if you want to make this carpet cycle sort of. Big jump and peck at the peak of your jump to make it onto this carpet. It sort of depends on the waviness of the carpet, but it's not too difficult. Otherwise, or, or, um, otherwise you can just backflip if you really need to. Shoot an egg in there, make the camera straight, zoom in, and then medium zoom. Whoops. Now jump straight back. If the camera's straight like this, walk right in front of the square here then shoot straight right. In turn, shoot three eggs into that head. Sometimes you might miss because the eggs disappear when it goes over those shiny particles. Oops. Big jump and peck here. In this route, I would recommend uh, gold feathering the Slappa. So walk off, whoops. You would just walk off and gold feather him. So get into gold feathers as you're walking off, and you'd kill him, land here, get the health, go this way, get the eggs if you really need them, and come down here to get the last note, and then exit. Here the setup, the easy setup for this ring is to walk out a bit, zoom out, one, two, three camera turns really fast, well not really fast, just fast. If you do them too slow, then uh, the camera will change too much. You just want to make it so that it's basically a straight line between these two notes. 
So you get this note, this note, this note. And now, depending on how fast you want to go, zooming in is the slowest, but it's the easiest. You just walk down, and you should just jump on the ring. If you use medium zoomed or zoomed out, then then you can just, uh, then you have to jump onto the ring. So that ring you might see people go for in runs, but it's not faster than this route, so don't go for it. Come over here. Peck here. Three eggs. Whoops. So after the third egg, get in talent try, then tap R. I'll just get in talent try and tap R here before I go. Before the cutscene plays, you should get in talent try and tap R. And the camera would be something like this. Big jump up here, and then continue on. So this way, we're gonna get this Jinjo. Slide back, then big jump here. Peck. Uh, these feathers are not in the RBA our RBA route technically, because usually we have a lot here. But as a beginner, you might just want to get it anyways. Just in case. Let's go over here. Get those notes, and then beak bust this. And then just walk down for all these notes. Now matching pyramid. We're gonna roll, flutter. Whoops, let me do that again. Let me actually do this again, actually. We go in. Roll, flutter, beak bust. Roll this way, towards this note, beak bust. You always want to land right here, because that guy can be in the way sometimes, and you want to kill him when he's here. Uh, even if he's, like, standing there, you still want to recoil there. Because after you recoil, you have a few invincibility frames, and you have enough invincibility frames uh, to the point where you can just hold Z and mash C right to get into Wonder Wing, and there'll be, like, no frames where you can actually get hit. So kill him there, beak bust this, get his health, roll here, this one, and we're just following the pattern. Roll, big jump, flutter to change direction. Right here, it's just straight left. And you want to beak bust the last tile as soon as possible, just to end the game as quickly as possible. They just walk towards the center of the room. Although the Jiggy spawns a bit more towards the Mumbo head here. It's like a bit more to the right. So come over, just leave now. So walk out a bit here, jump on the door frame, and jump over here, slide down, slide to the, to the left. Make the camera straight. I like to zoom out here. Turn the camera a bunch. If you want to do this strat where you uh, jump off before the cutscene plays, you want to stand closer to the head. If you stand far back, then the window to jump is smaller. So just stand closer to the head. Just like that. Now you just want to make sure you know where you have to take off here. For me it's going to be a sort of like down right-ish. Just towards the next ring. One, two. Deek bomb as soon as you can. Now we're going to go enter rubies. So you can do this in two feathers. But you might just want to do it in three, just for consistency sake. These feathers are also not in the route, you can just hold up to get to them. Or you can just hold up, then beak bust around here, then recoil back in. Here you're going to roll up, roll straight up, jump flutter, poop three eggs straight up, then three eggs a bit left of down. I was just a bit too fast there, but normally it works. Skip the text, now you backflip, backflip when he's going up for the third time. If you are climbing up somehow, then go up, mash A, and you should jump into the J. So get in Talent Trap, move up. Get these, get these, walk for all these, then jump for this token. Now start jumping here, and hug this wall. Here I'm going to show the faster strat. If you want to learn the easier strat, then go watch what I did in the beginner tutorial. I'm going to go down right, zoom out the camera, tap R, jump onto the ring, go in, then jump out. It just saves a bit of time since the ring spawns earlier. Now we get this note, and then shoot three eggs into his, his mouth and jump off. You can just jump off there right away. So I'm going to show the fast ring setup for the note for the ring after Water Pyramid. And to do that, it's important to get that note there. Take off here. This setup works well with zoomed out. Uh, 2A presses quickly, then tap hold up for a bit, and beak bomb. Get this. 
Try and beep on the left of the rock if you can. If you want to try and stay in flight. I might here, I might not. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I did. If you do stay in flight, then just go fly uh, towards the shoes. But if not, then you can just jump through the sand. It doesn't really matter speed-wise, as long as you can skip the Jiggy Jig somehow. If you either skip the Jiggy Jig in flight, or if you do the cutscene, uh, sorry, do the Jiggy Jig during the cutscene. So, now we're just gonna climb up Water Pyramid. So there's not much I can say about this part. Just try and take straight lines, uh, get the collectibles if you can, or if you want, I mean. And jump to change directions. Jumping to change directions is just good movement. Here, hold down for like a second, let go of down, wait till you splash into the water a bit, and then hold up and press B, and then just get this jiggy. Here, big jump up left. You can kill a mummy here if you want some health, but I would recommend getting health at Gobi later on, since there's nothing else really that can make you take damage if you're careful here hold down and hold and switch to down left right after you get the token zoom out the camera keep don't touch the camera at all and, and it should be like this where it's just up and down for this pathway now after this note we're gonna go a bit left of down and then we're gonna look for this and then we're gonna go up this hill once you pass this scene right here then tap r then jump onto the ring and then jump out, jump out. If, again, if you want to learn the beginner strat for that, then watch what I did in the beginner tutorial video. So now Sandy puts tune. Now here, this is sort of a YOLO strat. Um, you're gonna slide and then just do a small jump straight up once you reach the end of this wall. And after the cutscene finishes, you're gonna do a big jump, just sort of, um, sort of a bit more left of up left. And then you're just gonna try and jump onto the maze right away. Let's see if I can do it here. Something like that. But yeah, that's what it sort of would look like. But again, if you just want to do it normally, then just look for this bright spot, go a bit behind it, then jump up left. And jump down right and tap R. Camera should be like this and traverse your way through the maze and continue there. Again, if there's a uh, there's a nice back backup here you can do with this wall, where you can just jump onto it then jump over this. That was much easier to do. And yeah, get these notes. Peck in front of the coffin and jump flutter in. Get in talent shot. Big jump straight right into this pot, two jumps into this pot, these pots are a bit finicky, so jump a bit up of straight left here, go to this egg right here, and we're going to do a quick dive, for this quick dive you don't want to slide off right away, you want to pause a bit on the ground before you go up, because if you go too fast then you might just hit the ground and take damage, so it's sort of like that, pretty much like that, now we're just going to go uh, clock, uh, counterclockwise, and get all these collectibles. Once you get the Jinjo here, uh, you know that there's only one more note left. Then after that note, you turn back. So hold straight right here. Get this Jiggy, then go up here. Now we're just gonna head towards Gobies. Sometimes the music disappears and it's kind of funny, but it's whatever. So here, um, you want to make sure you're at 4 health. I'm at 3 health, so if you're at 3 health or, or less, then you want to get 1 health here. You just want 4 health minimum for the ending. So beat best Gobi, skip all these text boxes. And we're going to get these shoes. We're going to go a bit to the left here, and then jump straight up, straight down, whoops, straight up, straight down. Pause on the tree for a bit, then straight down again. Turn the camera a few times, then straight up here. It's pretty much a short jump. I'll do that again just so my timer doesn't run out. 
small jump, get all these notes, hold R while you're getting them, go here, try and make your camera straight, so you only have to go straight up for these first two notes, and then the angle is sort of just a bit up of down left to get the third note. Like this, and we're just going to climb up Jinxie. Get this jiggy, jig, uh, jiggy. Now we're going to take off with a medium zoom or zoomed in camera. Do not zoom out. Beak bomb right away. Now, if you see right under the R, right, or right where the R is, there's a black design on the wall at the very back. You want to aim for the bottom of that black design here. So you're going to hold up in a bit to the right. Aim, beak bomb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold straight left here until we're facing the general direction of Graba. And then once we're doing that, we're going to hold straight down. And then we're going to beak bomb his jiggy right when our feet are covering the jiggy. Go left, hold down. Beak bomb, there. Just like that. Now if he pulls you down, then just hold down. But if you're a bit high like I was there, then just speak fast. And we're going to get all these notes. Then do the jump to Gobi's alcove. So here, hold R as you're going up to make the camera like this. Now, the way to do this slope abuse is... See that little black dot that my health is on right now? The one health that I have? It's right there. You sort of want to aim for that black dot. Aim to jump there first. And then you're going to jump more towards the like the left. Towards the bottom of the alcove there. And one other thing you want to note. This sand over here. It counts for your uh, slope timer. So you can't be over here when you jump. Otherwise your timer will start right away. When you're over the sand. You want to be right against the wall. So you're never over that sand. If that makes sense. So after you jump here you're gonna jump towards the bottom of the alcove and then you're gonna peck you're gonna peck sort of more out so you don't accidentally slide on the wall and then beak bust if you need the extra distance whoops that's not good i'll do this from the beginning here so you can see how it looks like in fast motion just like that Beak bust. Try and beak bust the back of him there, so you get recoil towards this note. Now we're just going to get all these notes, get the honeycomb, small jump into the sand. And that's Gobi's Valley, the intermediate route. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys later.